Right, so this is the opening screen of uh, Treasure Island uh, for the Sinclair ZX Spectrum. Now, I rem seem to remember that Treasure Island was uh, free on a magazine cover. Uh, or possibly with a book that... It, yeah, I think it was free with a book that um, taught the basics of programming in BASIC from WH Smith's. Um, but this, anyway, this is the first screen. And it's the first screen is unlike any of the other screens in the game. And the second screen is unlike any of the other screens in the game. So I'm going to do a quick tutorial. Um, let's just click in the right window here. There we go. It's a Q, A, O, P, and M. Um, M being the action key. And this is the hardest bit in the... It's like it's weird that that first screen is so difficult. Now, the M key is jump. Um, this second screen, uh, I played this game a lot when I was uh, a kid, about 12 years old. And I've never figured out how to get over this second screen. However, I did manage to work out, and I have no idea how I was inspired to try this. Fun times, uh, this little workaround hack thing also works in the emulated version of this, which is currently running on the Mac. Uh, the H key is pause. You get a rather nice little border there uh, to say that you're in pause. And the T key comes out of pause. Somehow, my 12-year-old brain figured out that a workaround for this impossibly difficult screen is to repeatedly tap pause and unpause until... It takes you to the next screen. <laughs> uh, so that's the only way I've ever known how to actually get onto Treasure Island in this game. Now, uh, these guys spinning around here are pirates. And they fire swords at you. But, if you run away quick enough, you can pick their swords up and take them off them. And shoot them at other pirates. This guy here, his sword doesn't go far enough to reach me. Oof! He's a goner. And the idea from here on out is that uh, you figure out which pirates are going to give you swords and which ones are not. This one doesn't give you a sword. And to collect swords from pirates that do actually give you swords, use them against them. Sometimes, however, you find yourself using a sword against a pirate that you weren't supposed to use it against and you run out of swords. So, you got to go all the way back through to the starting screen. Uh, down here, indeed. And, uh, oh, try not to get massive uh, UDG block. <laughs> uh, there we go. And now it has sword. And uh, I think you get about three lives. The island itself is actually quite large. Uh, you can shoot up. Like so. This guy doesn't give you a sword. This guy does. This guy also does. If in doubt, if they give you a sword, use it against them. And if they don't give you a sword, like this last guy here, you darned pirate, then you have to, you guessed it, go all the way back <laughs> to the opening screen. And I've done it wrong again. It's further down still. But it's nice and nippy. It's not as slow as Cockatoni Wilf. Um... I think it's rather more wacky. Than, you can collect things like this and no idea what they do. Um, it's uh, not like Jet Set Willy. It reminds me a little bit, I suppose, of Pajama Rama. If you remember that kind of sort of, where you've got to complete tasks to pick up certain objects and what have you. Um, go all the way back up here. See this guy who doesn't give you a sword. And you'll notice when I sh when I kill this guy, I get a double brrp brrp thing to say, hey, you've gone to the next level. Well done. Go 
Come on, give me a sword. There we go. Now, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with this sword because um, on the next screen you get a sword anyway. Oh, shit! Hmm, I was supposed to kill him. Anyway, 17% progress, not bad considering it's. Uh, I only played it through to about that point before I did this recording. But the island itself is quite big. There's some really cool little uh, puzzles that you have to figure out. And uh, so, yeah, have a bash at that one, Alex. Um, Treasure Island, it's dead good and that. And there's the loading screen. Fabulous.